Mr. Granado is a non-attorney spokesperson. Warren, you are part of the Heard Robbins family. You're not even suffering from concussion symptoms. Why did you seek out a lawyer? Well, first of all, I had six concussions when I played the game. So when I heard about the settlement, I knew that it would pertain to me in some way, form, or fashion, somewhere down the line, or maybe even now. And then once I got a chance to see the agreement, which is some 200 pages, I just knew it was very intricate, and it was something that was complicated, and I needed the proper representation to go through the registration process, as well as seeing a doctor. And that's where I found Herb Robbins, who really cares about players and are doing an excellent job. There are so many misconceptions about the concussion settlement. Are you talking to NFL players and saying, whoa, guys, that's not right? Well, most guys feel like that they're just going to receive a check in the mail from this settlement just because they were in the NFL, but that is totally false. They've got to go through the registration process. They've got to go see a doctor and maybe get a baseline test if they don't have any type of symptoms, or if they do have symptoms, find out where they are diagnosed uh, on what level. So there's a lot that they need to get done, and they need to get done now because the clock is going to start ticking as soon as this settlement is final. And timing is so important right now. Right, because if you want to see a, a settlement approved doctor, you need to do that now because once the settlement is final, then you have to go to an NFL approved doctor. So if you want to have the doctor of your choice, you need to get started on that process immediately. And how complicated is this thing? It can be very, very complicated and it's something that you need legal representation to do that because you've got a registration process that has to be done precisely, otherwise if it's not, uh, you could uh, disqualify yourself or it could really delay the process. So you want to make sure you have people that know what they're doing and are experienced to help you. And like you said, you're not even feeling concussion symptoms now. What about being represented by a lawyer in the future? Well, down the road, if you do get an award from this, if you don't agree with that award, you can appeal that process. And you're going to need proper legal representation to do that as well. So getting proper legal representation is going to help every player. And families are so important in this process. They really are important because they should be involved in this process from the beginning all the way through. Whether you're incapacitated mentally, whether you've passed away, they might reap some of these benefits later on down the line, so they need to know this process as well as you. And finally, Warren, if an NFL player is watching you right now, what do you want to tell him? You know, there's some 20,000 former NFL players and about only 5,000 of them have legal representation right now. So there's a lot of players out there that need to get out there and find the proper legal representation to help them through this process because it's a very intricate process. You might have to see a doctor as we talked about earlier and you need help through all of this. Most players aren't used to doing these things by themselves. They're used to having somebody tell them exactly where to go, what meeting to be at, what time to practice. Well, my coaches right now are Herb Robbins, and they're doing a great job of leading me through this process, and I want these players to have those same type of benefits. So I urge them all to get out there and do it now. Get the proper representation you need, and I recommend Herb Robbins as one of those. <laughs>